Hello friends! I wanted to come on really quickly and kind of make a video about different foundations. So many people are always asking me, how do you choose your foundation? Which foundation is meant for my skin type? I don't even know where to start. There's so many choices. I get it. I know. Believe me. Okay, so here is the thing. There are foundations that are liquid. There are foundations that are aerosol sprays. There are foundations that come in a stick. There are foundations that come in a bottle. There are foundations that are powder. There are BB creams and CC creams. There's all these things and people always want to know, what exactly is it that I'm supposed to use? So here's what I have to tell you. You can pretty much use any of it. It's your preference. It's what kind of finish do you want? What is your goal for that day for your look? And that's what you're gonna wanna use. I happen to use all of it. I use it all. There are times that I pull out a BB cream because all I want is a really light coverage just to even my skin tone and I don't have a whole lot going on that day. Maybe we're going to float the creek or maybe the river, not the creek, the river. Maybe we're just running some errands or something like that, but I do want to even out my skin tone, but maybe I don't want a whole lot of coverage. Or I can add some concealer into that and I can give myself more coverage. Why would you use a BB cream? Maybe when you have drier skin, BB cream is perfect. Um, like I said, maybe you want a lighter coverage. Um, maybe you like the dewy look of a, um, of a moisturizer versus kind of the matte finish that a lot of foundations are going to give you. Then there's stick foundation. Yep, foundation that comes in a stick. It just goes right on there. You blend it out and you have a full coverage with a stick. Cool thing about the stick, you can use multiple different colors and you can contour. If you have darker skin, you can use the lightest one to use as highlighter underneath your eyes. So it's super versatile. It gives you a full coverage and it really is great for that drier skin as well because it doesn't dry to that matte powdery finish that let's say a liquid foundation is going to. This foundation is absolutely amazing for all skin types as well. It's also really good for aging skin because it has a product in it that works for anti-aging. It is a liquid that dries to a powder and it just goes on like a liquid buffs out and then over um, a few minutes it dries to that matte powdery finish. And then there is always spray foundation. This, as you can hear, is an aerosol spray. It's going to give you literally that airbrushed finished look. Kind of like the you're flipping through a magazine and you see a gorgeous model and they're showing off the eyeshadow and they've got this like airbrushed finished look, probably photoshopped. That's this. We refer to both of these as Photoshop and a bottle for a reason because it gives you that matte airbrushed finish, okay? The, the liquid has optical diffusers in it that are going to kind of like wipe away the fine lines and the wrinkles um, as a as an illusion. It's not necessarily that they're gone. It's just that it diffuses the eye from seeing that. The other thing that diffuses the eye from seeing that is setting your product. So no matter what it is that you use, if you set your product with a setting powder, same thing's gonna happen. So if you're more of like the stick, you like the feel of the stick, but you want that same um, illusion of like the matte finished and the diffusers in it, grab a setting product. That's all you gotta do. Then of course, this is a dark color because I contour with it, but there is powder foundation as well. You can get full coverage with a powder foundation. You use an amazing primer. You throw this over the top of that primer and you're going to get a full coverage, which is um, for people who have oilier skin, that is a perfect way for them to get that matte finish and it not look broken up and, um, and start to like kind of clump from the oil. The powder helps set that. Okay. So those are your foundation choices. I am going to go today with the stick because I love it. The other thing with foundation, look at that, that's so important is the tools that you use to apply your makeup. This right here, any flat kabuki style brush is going to give you the best finish for your face on just about any foundation type. Okay. It's gonna, it doesn't have as much makeup soaked down into the brush as a rounded brush is gonna have. 
It's a super tight bristled brush, so it's not going to allow it to like really seep down there either. So you're going to end up using less product for the same coverage because the product is actually being spread on your face and not soaked down into the brush, if that makes sense. So I highly suggest a really good Kabuki brush for just about any foundation. Some people prefer using a blending brush or a blending butt, and that's totally fine. I do suggest one that's kind of angled because you can use this egg side of it for like contouring, but you can use the angled side of it to get under here in the eyes, and then both sides can be used to really stipple and get that like extra full coverage that you might want. I don't need super full coverage, so I prefer a brush application when it comes to foundation. The other thing about foundation that's really important to remember is that when you do a full coverage like we just did, it makes your face look kind of flat, okay? Like my face looks kind of flat. It doesn't look like it has much dimension now. So using a bronzer or contouring or using a blusher, any of those things are going to take that flat face into looking, um, with, looking like it has more dimension like it did before you put foundation on, but all of your color is now um, is now even across your face. I hope those tricks about learning which foundation is best for you helped you. And if you want to be color match, just comment color match, and I'll be happy to help you with that as well. I hope you guys um, learned something and share this video if you did. And I hope to chat with you soon.